Hello, and welcome to Galactic Cruise. Here, we offer our guests something special, the comfort of a luxury cruise with the innovation of space travel. As a supervisor of this company, you'll be expected to not only build these shuttles and satisfy our passengers, but also to help the company thrive by enhancing our company network, inventing new technologies, and growing our workforce. Let me be clear though, this is a competition. The supervisor who comes out on top will become vice president of the company. Do you think you have what it takes to work for us? You do? Great. Let's begin the orientation. Each turn, you'll either place a worker and take up to two actions, or you'll recall your workers and take a funding bonus for each. Let's take a brief tour of the different departments so that you know what all our company does. Here, you'll be taking new segments into your supply to build later. You can also use this location to buy resources, food, oxygen, and fuel. Here, you can get new cockpits and engines to start some more shuttles. This is also where you'll go to install segments into your shuttles. At this location, you can draw agenda cards, powerful one-time abilities that will propel you forward or gain rewards for refilling the market of them. Here, you can take some free resources, as long as they're available, or you can refill one of the resources for money. Here, you can build developments in the network between locations or use them to invent technologies. This is also where you'll hire new workers for your team. Lastly, this is the place you go to add passengers to the waiting list and to claim flight plans for your shuttles to follow when they blast off. Unlike many worker placement games, the only person who can block you is you. So if you, as the blue player, want to go here, you can, but you can also go here and bump this yellow worker back to the yellow player. Once a worker is placed, that worker takes up to two actions that they have access to. Workers always have access to the two actions at the location they're on, but this action selection is extended by adjacent developments. Your own developments are always free to use, but if you want to use another player's development though, you'll have to pay them. So let's look at a couple of example turns. You place one of your blue workers onto this base and bump this purple worker back to the purple player. Purple will get a funding bonus and they have these four rewards to choose from at the start of the game. As the game goes on, these rewards can improve. These are also the same bonuses that you'll get whenever you recall your workers, one bonus per worker recalled. Meanwhile, you get to take your two actions. For your first action, you take two segments, maybe this one and this one, and since you built this development earlier, you can now come down and use this location to install them onto your shuttle, paying their printed cost and ensuring that the beds match perfectly. On a later turn, you could come to this location, which allows you to add passengers to flight plans for money. So maybe you add an orange passenger here and a gray one here. This location's bottom action allows you to unlock an upgrade and reserve a flight plan. When you take a flight plan, it goes above your player board and any passengers above it slide down. This locks them into your flight. Before doing that though, you get to take one of the eight tokens from your launch tower and gain its benefit, and then you place it onto one of the six upgrades on the left side of your player board. So you'll maybe remove this one, gaining the one billion printed, and then place it here which unlocks Saturn as a destination. From now on, this funding bonus for money is now two billion instead of one. When you do finally launch, you'll place your worker here on your player board and follow these three steps as your full turn. First, you'll pick a shuttle and then you'll see the guests that were associated with that flight plan. Next, you'll pay for the launch, one food per passenger, one oxygen per segment you've built into your shuttle and fuel based on the flight plan that you've selected. Once the flight is paid for, you'll move on to step three, which is scoring and cleanup. First, you'll score your cockpit. This one awards three victory points for every two developments you've built. And since you've built four, you'll gain six victory points. And then you'll gain the passenger rewards if they're satisfied. We can see here that orange passengers want to be in a bed adjacent to two dining icons. Since they're satisfied, they award two victory points and one reputation. Finally, you flip your flight plan over and place your worker onto this space to act as a pilot. Then you place the progress cube that was associated with that flight plan onto the progress track. The progress track is the timer for the game and cubes are mainly added here whenever shuttles are launched, though there are a few other ways that cubes will be added here, but that remains a company secret for now. Now, at the start of every turn, you'll advance the pilot along its flight plan. Whenever the pilot advances to one of the destinations, you can spend tickets to allow passengers to visit it. Whenever the pilot lands on a satellite, the passengers always award their day in space bonus. As you can see, there's a lot that sets our company apart while still remaining very familiar. Worker placement with no blocking, an innovative way to increase action selection using developments, pools of cards and resources that ebb and flow with the actions of players, and something that many Euro games tend to lack, meaningful interaction among the players. Did you get all that? I know it's a lot for five minutes, but if you have 90 to 150 minutes sometime, I'd be glad to slow it down for you and show you everything there is to know about Galactic Cruise.